Tonight, moms to be in Rhode Island now have easier access to help during their pregnancy under a doula services bill Governor McKee signed today. 12 News reporter Courtney Carter explains why supporters say this bill is so important, especially for women of color. This new doula bill allows pregnant women to be reimbursed through private insurance plans. Before this, pregnant women could expect to pay hundreds to thousands of dollars out of pocket. The doula bill signed into law Wednesday. Governor Dan McKee saying it's way overdue. Well, it probably should have been passed long ago. You know, women of color uh, have, uh, have had been disadvantaged in this space and the data shows it. So I never shy away from the facts and what we're going to see now is progress in terms of uh, the health of our families in all 39 cities and towns. He says when it comes to women of color, having access to a doula, a woman who is trained to support women during pregnancy, can greatly improve maternal health outcomes. Black women in the state of Rhode Island, they are likely to die three to four times greater than their white counterparts. Um, black infant mortality is two to three times greater than their white infant counterparts. And so this is a bill about racial equity, reproductive justice, and economic equity. Representative Marcia Wranglin Vassal says, this bill for her is deeply personal. After my twins were born, I had a severe headache, the worst headache of my life. I remember hoping in the freezer and putting my head in there um, before I went back and I had a subarachnoid hemorrhage. I had an aneurysm. For me to be standing here today and we're signing this, we just signed this bill into law, this is important. But it's important for, the, for women who will get to live. Rhode Island doulas at the signing Wednesday say women who use doulas often require fewer medical interventions during childbirth. It's critically important. Now, Massachusetts came close to allowing doula coverage to be covered by Medicaid, but the bill has stalled since June of 2020. I'm Courtney Carter, 12 News.